afternoon, DC Ranch Golfers. This is Dick Highland. We haven't been able to video in the last couple of weeks. I was out of town in South Carolina with my family. Kyle is dealing with club issues, so he asked me to just give you an update on the golf course as we move forward into the transition period this summer. Many of you have come to me and said, what's up with the course conditions? Many of you haven't been around this time of year. You've been at your other clubs in Colorado, Chicago, wherever that might be, but this is a, a time of year when the ryegrass is saying, it's too hot for me, and the Bermuda grass is saying, I'm ready to come up, but I need dew points and I need humidity. And typically, the first week in July is when all this stuff kicks in and you should see the Bermuda grass really start to take off. So this is not anything like we haven't seen in the past. What we're also doing on the golf course is we are uh, stripping out the collars and putting a brand new type of grass in in hopes that it will stay with us through the good times and the bad times, including next summer. So uh, we have finished, I think it's eight collars uh, as recently as today, and we anticipate getting the balance of them done tomorrow, but this is not something that is new. We just wanna, uh, we don't wanna maintain a problem, we wanna fix the problem, and this summer we're taking measures to do that. Uh, what's the deal on number 13 green? Uh, we have finally gotten to the point where we could sod many of the bad areas out you can see that as you drive by number 13, we're hoping to open it up as soon as we possibly can. We will keep you posted. My nature says we'd like to do it by the weekend, but we'll keep, we'll keep you informed. That's the best I can tell you. But as you drive around it, you should see some vast improvement from where we were in the last couple months. Um, what is happening on the turf on the driving range, as many of you know, to build a practice park last year, we were against the gun getting it completed by the time we got through the overseeding period and the area by the new short game areas on the southwest side of the project are the weakest areas because they were the last areas that we were able to get completed as the heavy equipment was moving off the site and into the parking lot. So we knew that we would have to re-sprig it again this summer, especially in those areas, and we're planning to do that the last week of June and the first week in July. Um, just to let you know, additionally, what's happening is that since we reopened in October through what will be a forecast by the end of June, we will have played over 4,100 rounds beyond what we forecasted, and 3,000 of those rounds have happened since March the 15th. So it's put undue wear and tear on the golf course. We've had four carts per group out there, anything that you uh, might think can happen to turf in a negative way has happened, but we're managing our way through it. The practice range on the south end was brand new this coming year, but with all the activity that we've had, it's really been a, a, a challenge, and uh, we're working through that as well. So we expect that in the next month, certainly, we will see improved playing conditions. We're asking you to understand the facts, which I'm trying to give you right now, not excuses, but the turf will improve as we move forward. Um, overseeding for this coming fall, we'll, we're still working through that. We know that anytime you overseed, you will damage the Bermuda base that you've got. Some of you have come up and said some of the munis in the area are better than we are. I'm not buying that for a second. I went over to some of these clubs and the directors of golf at these clubs don't wanna take me out there. They said we're absolutely horrible and that's because A, they put too much ryegrass out in the fall. They carry it too long into the spring and summer months, and it really, really deteriorates the Bermuda base. And now when the ryegrass is saying, we're done, there is no Bermuda base. And with our consultants, they have told us that we have more grass out there right now than any of these munis, and even some of the more finer clubs, which are private clubs in the North Valley. So we will stand our ground and say that any time that you overseed, you are gonna see some Bermuda decline and we have seen less this year than we've seen in the past. Although, maybe it's not ideal for visual purposes, but we're gonna get better in these, in these next months. So all I'm gonna say is if you've got any questions about the course conditions, please find me. I've said in just about every video we've done, the rumor mill can kill a club, and we don't wanna go down that path. So please email me, please call me, stop by the office, talk to one of the professionals, JT, Blair, um, Sarah, or Jeff, and we'll give you the straight answer. So we appreciate your cooperation. We appreciate your support. Let us know what you need. Stay safe.